Hey folks, Wargo here. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. And it is day nine of Horde Night every night here on Mock Samson. Now, we have to basically get moving here. I have an idea of where I want to go today. And providing I don't get lost, we should get there in no time. But I'm going to head over to Dyersville. And I believe... If we follow this road out, it's just over here. So let's get to it. And here we are, Dyersville. Now, I know this place is kind of huge, but there's a couple spots in particular that I want to hit up, kind of like this right here. Uh, this has a bunch of building materials, which we're obviously going to need after that last horde. I also know that there is a bear down in the bottom of this place, and I want nothing to do with that. So hopefully we can get all the stuff here without agitating yet. And I know there's a few, uh, I think I just heard one. There's a few zombies around here too. Yep, there's one. Oh, shit. Oh, well, he'll figure it out. Or he'll just start punching the floor. One or the other. Yeah, that's uh, the bear cave. I want nothing to do with that. Level four. Hey, we got us a duster. And this is pretty much junk, so we'll go ahead and scrap that. Throw our duster on. Look absolutely ridiculous. Take the lock picks. Nah, don't need the jar. I question how I got wood from stone, but you know, it, it's seven days to die. Yeah, yeah, thought I heard somebody. There's some building materials over there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and dispatch him. Kind of tough. Now there's a cement mixer over here. Let's uh, go see if that works. And if not, we'll go ahead and take it apart. Nah, it's got some clay in it though. Wood and oil. And I don't really know which place here would be good to raid. Let's uh, just see if we see a garage or two, we can grab some cobblestone. Hey, here's a popping pills. Oh, that's the headquarters. Yeah, I recognize this place. think there was any nah. I got some gas though that's always nice to have and yeah, we're kind of running low on the water and there's a bag let's uh, see what's in it hey I'll take painkillers This place looks as good as any. 
Yeah, we're definitely heavily encumbered, but I don't really think that there's going to be anything in here to give us too much of an issue. If there's anything in here at all worth it. Oh, goody. Cans. Yeah, these give us fortitude. Probably sell them. Hey, got another pair. Nothing. Nothing in there. Skull cap. Yeah, nothing in there. Now I know you can take the beds and stuff apart, but uh, I'm kind of looking for building materials and just stuff that I can quick sell. Although I don't think we're going to make it the gins today. Yes, yeah, scrap it. Since we don't really use ammo or anything like that, we tend to just sell all the brass. Yeah, he hadn't really noticed this. Oh. We'll just leave him be for now. I think this is the way you're supposed to go in, and hey, looky there. Now, since I'm running a little bit low on the machete here, we'll uh, go with the club and hopefully be able to craft a repair kit of when we get back to the base. There's a lot of it in here. Nothing. Anything else over here? That's locked. Nothing hiding in the corners. A bad zombie. Ow. Not bad. Definitely sell those. Yeah, I kind of figured there was somebody in there. Just double check. And we'll go ahead and drink the tea. Nothing in there. Uh, we already know it, but let's just go ahead and read it again. Let's take a look at the point that we got because we'll definitely be needing uh, yeah, all the help we can get. Oh, we got uh, three points here. Go ahead and do that. We'll drop one into sexual Tyrannosaurus and heavy armor so we should be a lot tougher now and a lot more durable i always forget that i have my light on okay there's two for sure and this thing does like massive damage for sneaking and i didn't get it Oh well, we'll have to start working on our sneak game. Level five, those should sell for a good bit. Almost half expected somebody to be in that one. Nothing. That's worth more than the lead right now. Oh, we have anything in here? No, we do not.
Oh well, let him beat on there. Easier way to get out to the bike. Nah, I can't really do much, nothing with the coffee at the moment. Definitely take the painkillers. Let's see here, pipe. Coal, because you know, that's where I like to keep my coals and cabinets. Or uh, old stoves, excuse me. Let's see here, nothing in there. Yeah, it sounds like they might have got in. Oh yeah, they definitely got in. Put some points into Pumble Pete at some time or another. Some nine mil. Oh, now. Oh, there's a. Three for one shot right there. I hear you trying to sneak up on me. Oh. And there's that bleed out again. course it needs repairing spear hunter sure I'll have to take a look and see if he actually used spears in the series but would not surprise me if he did yeah they're all up there and sounding mad as hell This looks like the main loot. So we might have to do some uh, slight inventory management here. Scrap, scrap. Bandolier mod is worth a little bit of money. Nope, nope. Another bandolier mod. <laughs> Rocket launcher parts. Level three shovel and an engine. Go ahead and take the painkiller. And we'll take the testosterone. Oh, I hate. There we go. And this is why we brought this. Won't last too much longer, but it'll let us get up all this. Locked. And I think I basically got to just knock a hole in the wall to get out of here. No biggie. But we are definitely going to have to move, put a move on back to the base because it is hour 18. And if you're just looking for spare stuff in the middle of the road, you know, this is perfect for it. Now, a few things have occurred to me on this series. If it is to go on, I uh, definitely need to get a forge or forge to iron. Uh, also need to start working on that mini bike a little bit faster because this uh, bike only carries us so far and so fast. Definitely have to remember to drink this tonight. Yeah, we need forged iron. 
Ah, it's just regular iron. Seriously, better take our uh, metal here just in case. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to get for right now. And I don't think I have anything in here I can take apart for forged iron real fast either. It was made of lies. Oh well, here goes nothing. Are they really just going around to the back? They are. No, I thought they were right there. Oh, they're going through that. Well, they're already in. Things are not looking good.
what the? I forgot there was a pathway. Hmm. The only thing that I can really do is outlast them until morning. And they are literally just, there's already holes everywhere in the base and they're already punching holes in the wall right here. Wait, that was it? That can't just be it. Well, I guess that was it. I'm probably going to have to destroy these fires out here because that's probably what uh, kind of ticked them off and started beating my base down. I'm genuinely surprised I am alive. Still no forged iron. Now, where did they get in back here? Of course, the place where it was one wall thick. They got in my back door. I'm not happy about that. I spent all that time thickening it up and they still got in. Holy jeez, that thing's got like 10,000 hit points. I cannot argue with this. The sledgehammer proved absolutely invaluable tonight. I'm pretty sure without it, I probably would have yeah, yeah, that definitely would have been an end to the series. <laughs> I wanted to go over here anyway because I do believe there is an upper floor to this place, but I was just too stupid to go there and check it out. Or I checked it out and just completely forgot about it. Well, I know I've been in here, so this guy must, uh... Oh, there's two of them. Oh! As they didn't join the fight last night. And there's one, two, right there. Oh, she done saw me. I, I don't know why I thought that would work. I don't know. I guess maybe things respawned over here. Ah. Seriously, now it's just mocking me. Yeah, now it's just going to start giving it all to me. I, I would have never thought about taking this apart for some forged iron. Yeah, I, I guess I might have missed some stuff and they might have respawned over here. They're both bleeding pretty good. Kind of curious as how fast that bleed out actually does work though. So do me a good favor and just fall over.
Eh, I mean, I can probably get it up further than that, but... Nice to know that this was over here. I'm going to have a lot of good stuff to sell on the way to the trader. Ooh, that's nice. Level six. You know what's not so nice? A concussion. Gold, silver. What is this? Muzzle brake. Magnum ammo. What is this? Ooh, steel sledge parts. Definitely be taking that. I don't know if they'll still buy blunderbusses, but... We'll take it just in case. And we'll scrap you. Scrap you. Take you. And we'll have a spare level six back at the base. Not too bad. I uh, probably should have cleaned out my inventory first or moved something. We'll get rid of that. But yeah, honestly, I did not expect to survive this night after they did not come to the front. Uh, apparently, they do not like those campfires there. Holy oh, crap, they knocked two holes. Like, seriously? And it is a good thing we went to Dyersville. But my guy's incessant tapeworm seems to have devoured all of my supplies. So we'll definitely be having to buy some from Jen or... Uh, Joel whenever we go there and doing a little bit of hunting because so I think I've only got like a can of rations here and that's about it but like I said before I didn't think I was going to make it through this one and this next one is going to be a lot more ah uh, what's the word I'm looking for harder <laughs> But that's going to be it for this episode of Mock Samson. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember, it's up to you to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that good stuff will be down there in the video's description, as always. And as always, I thank you for watching. I thank you for all the subs, old and new. You guys are awesome. Have a good one.